all cause shouldn't see the real reflection of you. Right now I'm hiking in nature and I am deciding to take off my shoes, roll up my, what are these called? These pants and pa, enjoy life. Now I found this important. I was watching a lecture from Wim Hof from earlier today and we talked about the importance of a nature walk, really regrounding ourselves. And this is something one of my mentors, Vince Kelvin speaks about as well. The importance of grounding, the importance of really reconnecting and rooting ourselves back to nature because we are natural beings. We're biological beings. It's so crucial. The modern era has separated us from being in nature, but we're beings of nature. So it's, it, it, we need to be in nature. We need to reconnect with it. We need to be with the trees. We need to be with the grass. We need to be with the ferns. We need to be with all of these things in nature. We need to be with the mud because we are a part of it intricate, in, it, intricately in part of, it's part of our DNA. And there's something that awakens within us when we ground, there's something that awakens within us when we are in nature. Every time I come out of being in nature, I feel incredible. I feel my, the sense of depression and anxiety and all of these things that are manifestations of the man-made world gone. I find that silence and that serenity that I always seek. I love it here. I feel at home here more than anywhere. And truth is, is that's because this is my home. This is our home. You see, when we see ourselves different from nature, when we separate ourselves from it, we separate ourselves from ourselves. We start creating false dichotomies. And those false dichotomies, they lead us to pain and suffering. And these are all my own personal experiences and these are all my personal viewpoints that have been influenced by my mentors, by those I study, by those I follow willingly. I was just meditating in nature just before this video, maybe I was walking a touch and then I decided to do a video. And one of the things that came up to me was this idea of identity. Vince Kelvin speaks about this in the sense of what is the identity with which you show up as and the importance of showing up. How do we show up? This is a concept that he continuously inculcates within me and within those who study him and his students is this idea of what identity are you showing up to your life with? What identity are you in this moment right now? You see, we are all beings human beings and part of the human being is that we have a body a physical body in this physical body inside of it is a spirit and we know this because when you see a human body that is deceased or that has passed away, yes, the human body does remain, but the spirit of the body has passed. It's gone. So we know we have a body, we know we have a spirit, we know we're, we are a human being, and we constantly hear this idea that we're not human beings, we are spiritual beings. and We're not human beings, we're spiritual beings in a human body. And I, I agree with this idea. Oh, check this out. There's a lot of mud right here. Getting to, to walk in the mud. Oh my goodness, that feels amazing on the feet. I remember when I'm running around in the woods on like hiking these trails and I come across the mud and I got my shoes on, I'm like, oh man, I don't want to get my shoes all muddy. I should just take off my shoes and run through it in the mud with like my bare feet. I think like, I don't know, I remember as being a little kid, I used to love walking through 
mud and I still continue to like walking through mud. It's just something, there's something so tactile about it, right? Like there's the feeling of the mud squishing between your feet. You feel the mud separate between your toes. And as you sink into it, there's a light, gentle, moist, wet nature beneath your feet. That just feels incredible. Anyways. So what's the identity with which you show up in your life? What's that spirit in some sense that you decide to be? Now, we can choose any identity in any moment. And in certain contexts, it makes sense for one specific identity. And in certain contexts, it doesn't make sense. Let me give you an example. I'm hiking right now in the woods. And an identity that I'm choosing right now is the identity, obviously, of Akwa Shinti. Yet at the same time, there's also identities I could choose of... Ooh. I, I just stepped in some mud and it like moved around. I think I stepped on like a worm or something like that and it was like squirming through my toes. There's other identities that I could choose to show up as right now. I don't know. A... Forester, right? Or, or a lumberjack. And if I were to show up with that identity, well, I would be looking around and being like, okay, I could cut down this tree. I could cut down this tree. I could cut down this tree. And that's an identity. I don't know what it would serve me as in this particular moment right now. It probably wouldn't. And maybe that's a poor example. Another example would be I show up to a, or not me specifically, but uh, anyone shows up to a, a sporting event, right? Let's say a football game. And I'm not big into football. I mean, I'll watch it from time to time, but it's not really my thing. And showing up with the identity of, of a football fan makes sense in that context, right? You show up and you're like, yeah, rah, 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 football. An identity that doesn't make sense is uh, someone who enjoys the opera, right? You're not going to show up to a football game dressed in gear like a tuxedo, a black tie, white tie affair to a football game. It doesn't make sense. The identity of the person who shows up to an opera is very different than the identity of that of the of the person who shows up to a football game. Now, that doesn't mean the same individual can't go to an opera and can't go to a football game at separate times in their lives or at different times in the life. That's not, that's not what I'm saying. It's, I'm saying the, what is the identity of the individual who shows up in that particular moment? And we can show up however we want to in any particular moment. Now, sometimes it's funny. We find humor when someone shows up in... A specific context that doesn't make sense right like it's it's funny to see the guy who shows up to the football game in opera attire or the opera identity like that's just that's humorous or some might find that humorous others might be like that's completely complete idiocy and well it is what it is all to say Akashensi what identity do you show up as? And in what context? And when we constantly refine this, and as I constantly continue to refine this, I become an expert at living. I understand better and even more who to be and how to be. And all the questions that I have, all of the chatter in the mind begins to fade away now that I know who to be right now. Keep up, thrive, stay sexy.